But before I start work for the day, I'm gonna share with you guys some keyboard shortcuts that help me save hours of my time. Being a software engineer, you'll end up using many of these shortcuts to help you navigate the screen faster and to just work quicker. I know some of you might think that keyboard shortcuts are just a small thing, but over time, they can increase your productivity. And honestly, it saves me hours of my time and it increases my productivity during work and outside of work as well. So one of the keyboard shortcuts I use most often is Command Tab. And what it does is that it helps you quickly navigate through your open applications without having to you know, use your mouse to dig out the application that you're trying to open. If I want to navigate between two applications, I can do so really quickly with Command Tab without having to you know, click each application every time I want to open it. So for example, hitting command tab here, we'll switch between Chrome and my notes here. And as you can see, you can quickly navigate between the two. Um, but if you slow it down, you can select which application you want to use. This next shortcut is the shortcut that I use pretty often and it's command space. And what it does is that it brings up your spotlight and allows you to basically search for anything. I usually use this keyboard shortcut to open applications or search for any documents I have on my computer. And so it's pretty versatile style and it helps you bring up basically any application that you want to open. So these are a few keyboard shortcuts I use and it's helped me save a lot of time. So I'm going to get started on work but later in this video I'll share with you guys the shortcuts I use on Chrome. So for those who are new, I am a full stack developer, which means I work on both the front end side of things, which includes user facing stuff like what's presented on websites. And I also work on the back end, which is all the computational stuff that's done behind the scenes. So I personally prefer working in the back end because that's what I'm familiar with. But recently my work has been on the front end and I have actually started to really enjoy it. I've made some pretty cool stuff already using different components such as modals and data tables. So let me share that with you. Basically a modal is a pop-up window that shows up and allows the user to select an action from that window and it's useful to draw the attention to the user that this is the next step that they should do. Another component that I use are data tables. Data tables are ways to showcase data to the user and helps the users understand their data in a structured way. So these are a few components I worked with. Um, again, I'm not an expert in the front end, but as I'm starting to learn the front end side of things, it's getting pretty cool and I think I might prefer the front end now over the back end. And by the way, what you've been watching this entire time has been through a new lens filter that I got. It's the walking away white mist soft filter and it's a filter that you attach to your lens and it gives a more dreamy and cinematic effect to your footage. And I also picked up this ND filter as well and it helps reduce the light that the camera takes in so that you can adjust different settings like your aperture or your shutter speed. So I wanted to give this filter a shot to see how it looks like. Let me know what you guys think of it and I'll put a link in the description below to get your hands on it as well. So these next set of shortcuts helps me navigate through Chrome pretty easily and, and you guys may know some of these already, but I'm going to reiterate some of these because they've helped me save a lot of time. And the first one is Command T, which opens a new Chrome tab for you. And the inverse of that is Command W, which I use pretty often and that closes the current tab. And let's say I accidentally close a tab that I needed. Um, another keyboard shortcut that I like using is Command Shift T, which opens the previously closed tab and so you don't have to go back to your history to find the tab you're looking for. So another keyboard shortcut that you guys may not know is the command option arrow keys. And that allows you to navigate around your tabs pretty quickly. You can press command option and the left arrow to go to the left tab from your current tab or command option right arrow to go to the right tab of your current tab. And lastly, there's command L, which I use often. And what that does is it focuses on the search bar. I can just hit command L and it will focus to the address bar and I can just type away to what I'm looking for. So these are a few shortcuts I use to help navigate through Chrome quickly. Um, I highly recommend using these if you haven't already. No fight. So there's no freedom and no fighting. We are on the road to righteousness. So there's no freedom and no fighting. We are on the road to 
road to nothingness There's no freedom with no fighting We're on the road to righteousness There's no freedom with no fighting too much passion in my words, I got freedom like no other Too much scrapping on the curve, so much grieving for my brother Got me scoping every angle like I'm keeping undercover I know I'm a lot to handle, but I'm keeping it one hana So never kissing, never telling Listen when I tell him there's no wisdom in accepting Till the system is rebelling, we got sisters we defending Pressure builds like a, f- a piston in the engine Got me infinitely ending I feel the roots in my fingertips cluelessly moving ish Nobody knows what the purpose is. So I think I'm gonna call it a day today. Um, today was really front end heavy, lots of HTML, CSS, and things like that. I realized that I didn't walk too much today, so I'm gonna go outside to go on a walk and get some subs in. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned a few shortcuts that you can use yourself to help you navigate around the screen a little bit better and to get a lot of work done um, using those shortcuts. If you want to see another productivity day in the life video, I'll put a video here for you to check out and I'll see you in the next one.